Hey everybody, welcome back to Adam RPG episode 70. We're in post game. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna start titling these episodes Adam RPG post game. So you guys know that we have done this and you know, if we were to walk through that door, we'd see the end end credit scene again. But well, we ain't gonna do that. Uh, where are my teammates? They're over here for some reason. Uh, yeah, I figured that after reading all your guys' comments, after uh, talking with you guys pretty extensively, um, seeing like what all your guys' ideas were and stuff like that, I think that the good idea to do here, the thing that I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use this account, um, this playthrough, this save, as my DLC in post game. Um, and I will start a new save. Excuse me. I will start a new save that we're gonna play differently. And how I'm gonna play that differently, I don't know yet but it will be a different kind of character. Um, I'm thinking right now that what I'm going to do is go real heavy into strength and endurance and just make a melee beast. Maybe even like put our luck, you know, at 10 or something crazy. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but I want to at least do something where it's different than this playthrough. So different kind of weapon usages, um, you know, different characters if I can. I don't know that that's, you know, something that I can actually do. Uh, and, and just change things up, you know, because I don't want to have two playthroughs that are exactly the same. First off, you have this loaded with AP. We do have enough to load that up with regular rounds, so that'll be fine. You can hold on to that grenade if you want, dude. I'm totally okay with that. AS Val is using 9x39. Unload that. 9x39. Um, we don't have a ton of it. But go ahead and just... Yeah, I mean, go ahead and use that for now. He's gonna run out, but that'll that'll be fine. He'll switch back over to that. Alexander, this uses 9x39. How much 9x39 do you have? You have 50. Let's get rid of the armor pierce and just load that up. Um, and on your secondary... Yeah, you're not gonna use that. Uh, that. That's fine. You know, we don't need to go ham anymore because we're, um, you know... We're pretty great, honestly. Let's get out of here. You barely managed to make it up when the rope snaps and you fall down. Luckily, there isn't much damage to your health. A quick check reveals that the rope has been cut with a knife. There's no climbing back. Well, no climbing back the same way, at least. How do we get out of here? I don't think we can. Is there no post game? Is there no ability to do a post game? Uh, this is problematic. What do I do? Can we actually really not do a post game? This is a problem. I don't think I can do anything. I think. Uh, okay. Do any of you guys have any bright ideas? Because I do not. See this little area here, but I took the rope. Uh, okay, this is a problem. I don't know what to do. How do Can I not get out of here? Because the only way that I could see to get out of here would be to do something over here, but there's nothing I can interact with. Where are you running? Uh, okay. Well, this is a problem. This is definitely a huge problem, a mega huge problem. 
locked. Okay, let me uh, Google it. Okay. So I Googled it real quick. And there does not appear to be a way to get out of here. The only thing that I can do is load our game before we came down here. Because this is saved down here and this is saved down here. These are, are broken saves. That's 26 days. This is 123 days. Load that. Okay, so now we're back before we went down there. We do have everyone dead. Okay, so here's what we're going to have to do. So our save two, this is after we've beaten everything. This is right before. We're going to leave our save two forever. We are never going to overwrite that. Because this is the this is the one where we beat them. We could go back and watch the end of the game. We're gonna save one, and we're gonna have to be so careful never to overwrite save two. Or maybe I just save down here. Save game four. Maybe this is better just so we don't even go up there. So this is what we have to do. We can't play on that save. Yeah. Um, we're just we're just going to have to We're just going to have to play before we went down there, I guess, which is kind of I don't like. I actually don't like that at all, but what are we going to do, you know? That's kind of our only option. Um if we want to keep playing, this is this is what we're going to have to do. Which is a bummer. Don't get me wrong. It's a huge bummer. Did we already loot all these guys? Uh, we should take the backpacks. I know that. Okay, so let's grab all their backpacks. Because these will be worth a lot when we leave. We'll give them all to Fidel. Okay, no, I didn't want to do that. Um, and so this way, you know, we, we already know that we beat the game. So, you know, putting playing on the save previous is not the worst thing ever. Um, even though I'm not thrilled that we have to do it this way, it's the only way that we're going to be able to play post-game. Well, I'm post-game, you know? Because once you go down there, you cannot come back up. So, we kind of only got the one option. I'm sorry, guys. It's just what we got to do. Uh, you know what we didn't do before, though, which would be great to do now? Are we out of money? Pretty much. We have very little, yeah. Um, here's one thing that I want to do. I want to go do the sewers. That is one thing that I think we can do this episode. Um, and I think what I'm also... I, just, I think what I'm going to do, I think the other thing I'm going to do... I, I'm trying to do a lot, all, all, all in a very short time. What I think I'm going to do is get uh, get onto a normal upload schedule. So, for instance, maybe we do Adam RPG on, on like, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today's Tuesday. Perfect. We'll do Adam RPG Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, if the DLC comes out, obviously we will do an episode that day and probably a bunch of episodes that day. Um, because I don't want to stop playing this because it's so much fun and you guys obviously enjoy it a lot. So I think... You know, and let me know what you think. If you want three episodes a week, we'll do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But if you're okay with two, Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, and we'll start there, you know? We gotta we gotta kind of plan it out and start somewhere, right? Hey, do you wanna buy, like, a lot of backpacks? No, you don't. Okay. Well, hey, great chatting with you. I'm gonna go. What I want to do is the sewers. Because we did not do the sewers last time. And now's a good time to do it.
Uh, yes, I would love to descend into the catacombs. It's also good that we didn't go kill that cult and just be like, well, we did it, we killed the cult, because that had nothing to do with the actual end of the game. You know, I am really, I'm calling it right now. I'm gonna accidentally save over our end of the game save. Um, I should probably not use this gun on these enemies. But I really don't wanna, I really don't wanna put it away because I know that I will need it. Also, I have no idea where I'm going. Was really hoping to shoot them before my team wastes their ammo. Okay, so let's figure out where we are going. That is a dead end. That was very helpful. I don't want to go into that cave just yet. Oh, here's something. Hey, if anyone can translate, please. Please, please, please. Please and thank you. Uh, did we just come down that way? I think so. I'm, I'm already lost. Boom! Get him! I have a shotgun, so it's like I really have... I really can't do these long-distance shots. This was another entrance. Okay, that's perfect. I was gonna say, hey, maybe someone on our team is not in range, but of course they are. Uh, okay, let's go in here and kill the spiders. That feels, like, uh, appropriate. That feels appropriate to me. Oh, now my team will not have a shot. They will not have a shot. They will not waste their ammo. I'm just gonna shotgun these dudes. Super easy peasy. Don't you guys even bother. I got this under control. I don't want you wasting your ammo. Just walk on in here. I'm not even worried. After taking out that end of the game fight, nothing in this game is gonna worry me ever again until we run into slavers that throw a bunch of grenades. That is still probably gonna murder us pretty quickly. I will not lie, that is still probably gonna murder us pretty quickly. They really both survived. That's a huge bummer. That's amazing. We got knocked down by a tiny spider who then did zero damage. Somehow, Hexagen just killed both of them in one burst. That was awesome, dude. I guess I'll just kind of stand here doing nothing. I mean, lay here. I meant lay here. Perfect. Great. I'll just get up off my sorry ass. I do not actually want to do that. I really... Oh, God. One of them just, like, exploded at... They go for the legs. Ugh. They go for the legs. What am I supposed to do? Does anyone else want to shoot this giant thing? Yes. Yes, apparently at least one of them did. Oh my god. I Don't you dare knock me down. I shoot that guy? Okay, there we go. I shot. I'm, I'm, I missed. That's nice. This is going well. It's good that we uh, managed to beat the entire game, the hardest fight, but I can't shoot a spider that's literally not moving that we surprised. Makes perfect sense. They are gonna waste all of their fancy ammo and I really should tell them to stop. What are you gonna do, little tiny spider? Okay, let's go ahead and tell them to stop. Well, you're fine. Hexagen, please stop. Just use that. There's no point in wasting that ammo. You already used it all. Oh no, you didn't, okay. You have 20 more bullets. Haha. <laughs> Please stop. Just do that. Uh, because that uses drag of ammo. Yeah, I mean, that's... Wait, what happened to his... Uh... Oh, no. This was just a straight upgrade for him, right? I remember. 
That's fine. Let's keep going. Oh, somebody's sack just exploded. Oh, there's a lot of these. I get it now. Okay, I'm just gonna start shotgunning these instead. Right. Oh, that apparently took out the whole thing. Okay. So is that everything on this pillar? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take these out before they become a problem. Does that mean that this one is also an issue? Yeah, we're just gonna call ourselves Sonic at the Exterminator for now. And we're just gonna make sure that these have literally zero chance to open up because I'm pretty tired of them doing that. Fine, everyone, I have a shotgun. Please stand back. I've done this before. I'm a professional. I know you're saying to yourself, professional what? And I don't want to hear it. After the spiders were all killed, this egg withered. Okay. Uh, so this room seems pretty much entirely useless. Is it the same story with all of these? Yeah. Okay, so there was really no point to this room besides, I guess, some EXP. That's fine. Spider room done. Moving on. I am recording, right? Yeah, that would have been tragic. Where to? This way. Wait. This way? What is this? I have no idea. There's a guy in there, though. Okay, hold on. I got the shotgun just in case. Let's do a quick save. Run down here. It's kind of hard to get all this place explored because it kind of just goes all over the place. Uh, let's go talk to this guy, though. This guy seems like he may be an important character. He was eating a rat. That's gross. Wires. Useful. Wires. Useful. How's it feel to be living in the uh, sewer system, huh? So, oh, wait. This guy's important. This hexagen started. Some say ideals are incorporeal. But look at here, child. This man is living in the, the embodiment of capitalism and all its disgusting, grotesque glory. Oh, dude, you need to calm down. You gaze upon the man before you and wonder, is this truly a person or a grotesque joke of nature? which cruelly decided to check how many disgusting, revolting features she can smash together into one poor creature. Holy hell, I know real men don't cry, but this stench makes my eyes water. What is this freak show? The result of nature's tomfoolery smiles at you with a mouth filled with yellow, rotten teeth and malformed, swollen gums, which excrete thick, green, smelly pus. Oh, God. Don't mess with him due to his looks, Sonic. This hombre is known to me, and he is not as disgusting and dangerous as the stench in his body produces. The huge, watery eyes of the mutant stare at you, and you start feeling uncomfortable, as if his gaze is sweaty, cold, and filled with pus and rot. Mmm, hellos. Where did such smooth, silky, sleek-faced person come from? With a strange, disturbing twinkle in his eye, asks the stranger, all while rubbing his small, sweaty hands together. Not a citizen, no. A citizen would attack me. See, I love watching the legs of city gals, ugh, when they stroll near the manholes in the tight little dresses and skirts, ugh. But the gals, they don't like it when I look, so they told me to the men, and the men listened. Now they want to break my bones, and you don't, so who are you, hmm? Wow. Oh, uh, sorry, I made a wrong turn. I'm just gonna go. I just wanted to have a little chat with a weird person. The terrible goblin-like man winks at you and licks his ugly, diseased lips. Oh, this is awful. You're right about that, sleek face. Toilet cruel is very important, very interesting. You think I'm kidding? No, no, in only three years, I became the head of the city sewers. Would I do that if I wasn't an amazing person? You got a good eye, yes. I can even hire you to do a little job for me, if you want, mm-hmm. Or we can just have a little sweet chat. It gets boring out here, you know, so why not flap our little tongue some more? Just get to the job, let's just get to the job part. Toilet Cruel sniffs loudly, then swallows the snot from his, ugh. The sewers are my home, sweet home. The cultists never touch me. The bandits and bullies leave me be. Everyone respects Toilet Cruel. Everyone, that is. 
But the silly eight-legged things, I already took care of them, so... Nowadays, with my engineering skills, hot water runs it in through the pipe, so it's nice and warm for them. Mm -hmm. But they do they thank me for it? No. They snap, their, they snap their little jaws and shoot web at me. I'm scared in my own home. Punish these nasty beasts for me, I'll pay you good money. Yes, I have a lot of money here in the sewers. I actually already did that. Hold on. Toilet cruel walks uh, walks to you and tries to close your mouth with his sweaty, dirty wrenches. That's gross. Don't touch my mouth. You quickly take a step back. The terrible man looks at you with disdain, but freezes. So quiet. No more tiny feet dancing on the pipes. No more sounds of moving through spider webs. No more clicks and clacks of multiple jobs. All is silent. Good work. You really did manage to kill all the spiders. And you earned a handsome reward for it, too, my sweet, sleek-faced friend. The reward is my trust. Money, too. Yes, take it. Ugh. He leaves you alone for a couple minutes to dig through his stinky, fetid possessions. He finally produces a small wooden cast filled with money and healing items. A true friend you are, sleek face. I would give you more if those freaks from the top side paid me better. The mutant shakes his fist. Um, we need the money, but we'll do the same thing we always do. Just keep your stuff. His eyes stare at you in surprise. What a nice person. Help toilet crew out of friendship, sake, huh? So sweet. Hey, maybe you help me again for a second time. You know, since you're all helpful. Give me the details. So, he licks his zit-covered lips. I have a sweetheart on the surface. You know, a sweetheart. A lovely little la lady. Mm-hmm. A darling gal pal. Mm-hmm. I've been on a love quest to get her since the first time we met. Ugh. The first time I met her was magical. I was peeking from under a sewer grate, and she was walking above it in a tiny little dress. Gross. You see, he's rapidly getting aroused, and it disgusts you to the very core of his being. I learned her name much later, a tasty name, sweet and tasty match in my sweetheart tender nature. Natasha. Or Natasia. Mm-hmm. That's what my sweet girl was called. I fell in love with her, started leaving her gifts near her door. Sometimes I gave her a dead animal. Sometimes some pretty little random thing that toilet water carried into my domain. Our feelings became mutual, I'm sure. And now I want to bring her to my abode. Bring my Natasia into the sewer, but I don't want to call her here openly. Instead, what I want to do is give her a little sweet surprise. For that, I need you to lure her to the sewer entrance. I... Mm, don't think this sounds like a good idea. What do you say? Will you help your sleep? No, I'm not going to... No. Who does this freak, th freak think we are? Child kidnappers? Enemies of consent? I bet the poor girl doesn't even know he's stalking and obsessing over her. Oh, she knows me very well. Our love is mutual. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. So mutual. No stalking involved. Damn it. I would help a proper dude out with stealing the girl of his dreams any day, but this freak? Nope. Just nope. But she'll like it here in the sewer. I promise you she'll love it. And I do so many good things if you lure her. As Natasia's former employee, the owner of the bar she works at, I really hope you will not agree to kidnap her. Um, I'm... I'm not gonna do that. Anger becomes apparent and clinches his fist. So that's how it'll be. You became my friend only to break my heart, stop me from obtaining my true love. She works for us at the Red Fighter. I'm not bringing her down here. Fine, get out of here, but remember this. You're an enemy of love and enemies are not welcome. Fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna steal. I'm not gonna kidnap for him. That's just not something I'm, I'm prepared to do. Especially when I'm pretty sure Natasia is the one that works in our kitchen right now and makes food for free. Which is like a huge help. Okay, so that's back there. So now I think what we want to do is go... No, we already did that. And then we just circled back into here. It looks like this is a secret area. But I couldn't really be sure. So let's go down here. And we'll get this guy to open up this door. One way or another, we will get this guy to open this door. Because if he doesn't, I'm going to blow it open and barge in and kill everyone. I'm not going to do that. You come to a reinforced metal door. Someone's watching you. We're not expecting guests. Yo, I'm zonked the hell out and want to crash. Don't be a queen. I'm not a queen. You're a queen. Fuck it. Hold on. The gatekeeper looks you over and gets away from the tiny window. You hear some mechanical sounds from the other side, and suddenly a bell rings all across the sewers. This is probably the way of telling the locals they have a new guest. Go on in, just don't cause any trouble, freaking tough guy. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. See? Was that so hard? Hey, puppy. Okay, well. Oh, we could have just walked right up this way? Where does this go? Can we just come right back down? Yeah, we sure can. Okay. 
Seeing that you want to talk, he nods and... No, 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 I don't want to talk to you. I want to get into the sewer. The send. It's weird that we had to go through that when we could just take the sewer. Or maybe they would have stopped us or something. Or attacked us, you know? Okay, I swear. This... You see this? Like the... No. This. This is a door. You see there are hinges. I guarantee you that's a room. These things are not anywhere else on the wall. If you look at the texture of the wall, nothing else has this. Hey, uh, do we have any more dynamite? More dynamite. Any more dynamite? No, we do not. Uh, we do have a grenade. I expect this to go poorly, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Hey, Fidel, can you get away from the wall that I'm about to throw a grenade at? I can't see the target. Great toss. Solid toss. I think let's just wait till we have dynamite. Fidel, you can just you can have that back. I'll talk to someone else. Maybe someone can help me. Hey, you. A thin, fair-haired man sitting at the table. He smiles and points at the stool opposite when you walk up. Yeah, it's my first time here. Really shows, and don't worry, you won't get bored easily around here. You might even earn some cash. I'm helping new folks out right now. I have a good feeling about you. Okay, what do you have on offer? I'm sure I'm not the first to ask, but what do you think about killing? Are you ready to kill? And I don't mean a mutant. I mean, are you ready to kill a person? Yo, I have killed so many people, my guy. No problem. Just tell me who you need dead. Never doubted you for a second, buddy. It goes to show how well we understand each other. But before I tell you about my problem, you want to hear a little backstory or you want to get straight to business? Tell me the backstory. All right, we're all about... We're, we're all smugglers around here. It's a nice job, but there's competition from all over. Civil people have already talked things through and divided the waste into territories for their operations. But there's always some newcomers wanting a new slice of the pie. Petty thugs and ex-bandits who just realized the war's finally over. These people never know nor care about the rules we've established for our smuggling operations. They insert themselves at the most inappropriate times. You get where this is going? Yes, I do. The mountain pass woes recently become the main hub of drugs and weapons trade in the region, and a village called Foglevka, I've been there, has become a popular rest stop uh, for smugglers talking, uh, taking the pass. It's a cozy place. Some time ago, a very unsavory character was spotted near Foglevka. The so-called Tofik Mozambique is working for a newly formed gang of some kind that wants to try its hand at the lucrative drug smuggling business. I want you to deal with them. Uh, yeah. Fidel grabs your shoulder and whispers into your ear. I was silent all this time out of respect for your wits, mi amigo. But do you think it's really wise to join a criminal gang? We kind of have a mission after all and it has nothing to do with- Listen. Listen. You told me yourself, any old bastard might have valuable information that will help the mission, so we ought to infiltrate the ranks of as many organizations as humanly possible. That makes sense. Anyway, Tofik Mozambique must be standing at Fog Left to end. Lure him out of the village and send him to meet his maker. Just remember, my friend, no talking. You don't want to chat with that snake. Just pull the trigger as quick as you can and leave. I really hope you'll pay. All right, so we're going to go kill that guy pretty much without even thinking about it because we're in the post game now. Well, how can I help you by showing off my sweet... Oh, you got wares? Yo, this guy does have wares. It's all garbage, but he does have wares. Kogan the Savage. Militiaman, uh, something, something else. We'll just go ahead and pay him for those. I don't know what these are. One of them's a recipe. This is just a cutout from a modern newspaper printed in Intruder Grad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. A soul click. It sounded like someone's cocked a rev uh, revolver reinforced with scraps, some duct tape, and instruments. It was basically the sound of an emperor's neck being broken. Kogan the Savage, who was simply posing his eunuch to let the old man's guard down, twisted its enemy's head 180 degrees. Jesus. Uh, did that give us something?
Did that do something for us? Protection revolver, tri barrel, yeah, custom revolver. Thorny armor, wolf antidote, healing powder, custom made crossbow, zip gun, uh, custom made grenade, round, shot round, bolt, DIY, city corn meat, a bag, broken bottle. That didn't seem to do anything for us. I'm not sure why we wanted that, but we'll hold on to it nonetheless. Uh, because it may be useful later or something. I'm not really sure. I was going to say, you know, is this guy going to be mad that we're stealing his stuff? But he doesn't seem to be upset about it. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. We are, by the way, still drugged, which is a problem because when we get undrugged, we're going to have probably some pretty serious withdrawal, if I had to guess. We just stole that. And that. And that. And those. Oh, that's what he caught. Okay. Um, can you guys hang on to this stuff? I really have... I really have no room for it. I appreciate you. What is this guy carrying? I forgot that we had upped our pickpocket by like a pretty decent amount. So most likely we're going to be able to steal from almost literally everyone. Also, we're kind of coming up on time here and I do want... Oh, 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 I did not see this. Get your paws off the bricks. The huge bearded guard looks at you with distrust. More so, he looks like he's about to attack you because you looked at him the wrong way. What are you, who are you guarding? This here hallway, why? Haven't you heard of what happens to nosy people? What's new? Listen closely, hear that? No more scuttling around in the pipes. That means fun one finally dealt with the damn spiders. That's good news. I found the brick. I really want to open this, but I think he's going to see it no matter what. Let's just save. Yeah. Yo, what? They have a lion statue? Can we all get in here, please? Is there any way to close that? No. What is this? How did they manage to get a stone lion into the sewers? They have dynamite. Uh, excuse me? What is... A creepy book. This is interesting. The book is called Codex Comatrium, and it looks like it was published by Golden Goblin Press. Too much, too bad the language is unknown to me. There is Elkstilopedia Verastranda written on the cover. It's short for Verastrand's Extrapolar Tech... What? Um, I think they're going to be real mad when they come back and see me in here. I think he's going to be exceedingly mad when he comes in here and sees me in here. They have a Mona Lisa. Stone Lion. They have weapons? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I was kind of afraid of, is that everyone was gonna see me. Here's what I'm gonna do instead. Let's get in here and just check if, to see if there's like a specific quest or something. There's a weird cup up here? There's nothing actually important in here. Fudge. We could kill everyone, but the problem is this guy just gave us a quest. I don't know that I actually need to steal any of this stuff. 
But what if we just, like, opened that? Are people gonna mad that we opened it? We're not in there. We're not trespassing. What if this guy sees that we had opened the door? I wonder if he's gonna be real mad. How's it going, buddy? Uh, you know, doing the same thing you're doing. Just hanging out. Is that weird? This door was closed. That's so weird, right? Why would it open like that by itself? I definitely didn't do it. Everything seems to be untouched. Maybe the rats opened it somehow. Yeah, really big rats. You coming out? Hey, that's an interesting room you got in there. I definitely wasn't in there, if you were wondering. Get a grip. Our guys are everywhere. No one else can get in here. Don't try to steal any... Okay, I won't. That was my bad. You gonna talk to yourself some more? About maybe your plans? No? Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you guys later. We have to go uh, murder someone. We definitely have to go murder someone. So we didn't go down. The one thing that we did not do actually. We didn't go into that weird cave with all of the uh, cultists. So let's position ourselves to do that for our next episode. Uh, as well as... So the next episode is going to be two things. Cultists here, clearing out the caves. And also killing that guy in uh, Foglevka. Which will be like a two second operation, I imagine. Go there, pop a bullet in him, take off. Could be like an open and shut case. Boom. Okay, we're gonna save, and remember, every time we save, needs to be save four. No, I'm sorry, just need to not save over save two. Right. I'm gonna mess that up one day, and it's gonna be awful. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up there. That was our first post-game episode back. Again, even though we can't really technically plan our post-game save, this is post-game, because we've beaten it on this save. Well, I mean, not... Anyway, you guys get the idea, right? So, uh, that's episode 70. We're gonna wrap up there. As always, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. You know, enjoy talking to you guys. Or you can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Or join my Steam game review group. Or also, Discord. I've added a new Discord server. It's called the Sonic Cat Lounge. It's gonna be for all the games that I do. For people to be able to get in contact with me, chat about things. All of that. I will put a link in the description below if you want to join it. Uh, I got big plans for that in the future. But for now, it's just kind of getting started. So, till next time, burn bright, everybody.